Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your March 2018 general readings. Thank you for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers. Thank you for all your like, share, subscribes and your support, feedback and comments. Always welcome. Keep them coming. You guys are brilliant. And always a thank you to all of my clients out there, both regular and new clients for keeping me so busy and joyfully occupied with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. If any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, and you haven't read with me before, you've forgotten the information, you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on the About button for more information and details, and my contact info, which you can also find attached to the description of all the videos I post. You can email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. Uh, turnaround time for personal readings is uh, usually pretty fast. I do readings full time, five to six days a week. It is what I do. So it can be anywhere from a few days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within a two week period of time or so, we can set up a reading for you live or recorded. I do readings in all main areas of life, love and romance, career work and finance, spirituality, channeled messages from beyond. Uh, I also do specific charts for relationship compatibility, reconciliation potential, and six and 12 month overviews, which uh, take a look which looks at what's coming up in your life for the next six or 12 months uh, in the main areas of your life depending on how far ahead a look you want to go so if you're interested email me and we will go from there if you're not looking for the in-depth uh, traditional in-depth more complex readings maybe you just have a quick question or two um, you have a decision you need to make quickly uh, you want to take a fast look at something you can also find me on the smartphone app instant go under irish gypsy that link is also with my contact details um, they have a few different options there there's a one question one answer option you can choose or you can open it up for a little uh, short read uh, via chat uh, or via text they also have a phone audio option and a video chat option too uh, if you're not looking for the traditional in-depth readings you just need some fast answers to some quick questions have to make a decision on the fly uh, so you can for those of you interested in that you can look for me on the smartphone app instant go under Irish Gypsy okay let's move right into this this reading is for Capricorn the earth sign of Capricorn for the month of March 2018 it's a general reading as always check your rising and your moon sign videos if you know them if you can they can give you additional insight and clarification and they may resonate at some times more predictably than your sun sign because it's a general reading there's lots of you watching so it's going to resonate differently um, in different areas of your life for everybody watching all right Capricorn let's take a look at March 2018 for you we begin with the Eight of Swords, followed by the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Wands. We have the Four of Cups, followed by the Chariot. And we have the Magician, followed by the Sun. Wow, that's a powerful combination. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Four of Wands. Wow, Capricorn. <clears throat> so, I mean, my first thought in looking at this reading and kind of feeling it is, yes, you can. <laughs> I want to give that message out because it, it looks like you're feeling stuck, trapped, powerless, like you can't do something or you don't have the ability to do something or you're bound by duty or obligation or, or finances or whatever. Uh, you you, you want to have a new beginning, but somehow you feel kind of trapped uh, almost like you feel like you can't and spirit is saying really strongly particularly towards the end of the month yes you can uh, and I say this because we begin the month I am recording these in the last couple of days of February we begin March 2018 with the eight of swords and the ace of cups I mean this is a pretty straightforward read um, the eight of swords swords is mental energy intellectual cerebral energy it's all about what goes on up in this head of ours thoughts belief systems perspectives perceptions how we think what we believe in and how that affects the way that we relate and communicate with the world and people in the world how we look at things the eight of swords is a card about feeling trapped bound held hostage helpless powerless not able to make a choice or a change in your life in a certain situation in a relationship but it's an illusion 
It's in your head. It's just thoughts or a belief system that's telling you that because the reality of the situation is you can free yourself from this energy from the situation or move forward. You do have the power to do that. It's just in your head. It's a, you need to change a, your perspective. Uh, the swords that are encircling this woman, the gaps between them are plenty wide enough for her to just walk right through them in a way. Nobody's holding her down on her knees. The chains which are binding her are not connected to anything or anyone. So she could easily free herself from them, remove the blindfold, stand up on her own two feet, realize she's not held hostage by anything other than what's in her own mind, and free herself from this. Illusionary energy, Capricorn. Yes, you can. Now, it's clarified and accompanied by the Ace of Cups. Cups is water energy. In the tarot, this is the energy of emotions, feelings, your emotional landscape. It's also the area of your life that deals with relationships. Aces represent the number one, so they always represent the beginning of something, a start of something new, a new beginning, or the opportunity for a new beginning, potential. Uh, and you have two aces in your spread. Aces are kind of like a little shot of good luck, a little, a little extra blessing. So the Ace of Cups can represent new emotional awakenings, the heart opening up again, having a new beginning that you feel very happy and positive and hopeful about. It can also represent new love and romance, a new beginning in an emotional kind of way, something that you feel very happy and hopeful and positive about. And it looks like you feel, uh, Capricorn, like somehow you can't have this new beginning. Let me take a look at your elemental energy really quick to see if we can get a bit more of a clarification on what area of your life this may deal with. Of course, it's a general reading and there's many of you watching and that can be kind of tricky. So we have one, two wands, two cups, one sword, one pentacle, and three major arcana cards. So there's just a little bit more wand energy, meaning fire energy, than anything else. And and in the tarot, the, the energy of the suit of wands is fire energy. So, and that's all about creating. It's creative energy, manifesting, building. Uh, it's usually very forward moving, forward looking to building as a process. It's usually about building something uh, for our future or being in the process of, of creating something which is a process. Um, it's change, movement, action, power. It can often point to creative or artistic endeavors, projects, career, building a career. Um, and it's got a lot of enthusiast, enthusiasm and passion because it's fire energy. So for some of you, what you feel, it looks like you want a new beginning. You feel like you can't have one somehow or that you're, you're, you're powerless to manifest what you want, which is a new fresh beginning. Um, you're not really trapped, but that's kind of, it looks like how a lot of you enter the month. Uh, and for some of you, this may be in the career area of your life. Um, some of you, it might be in relationships uh, area of your life. Some of you, it might be in, you know, work curve, financial property somehow. Um, however it resonates for you, uh, the energy fundamentally remains the same. You're not trapped. You are, you do have the power to make a choice to free yourself from something and start over, start fresh, have this new beginning. Some of you it may be feeling like maybe making a decision about moving or relocating or starting a new job. You may feel like you're unable to do that somehow or you're afraid to do it or you feel trapped by other current present circumstances or whatever. Um, some of you, it may be about starting a new job or moving or relocating or maybe a combination of that, moving or relocating to start a new job or a new business or a new project of some kind. Um, because what you want or the chance or the opportunity for a new beginning is emotional and tangible in nature. It will make a practical difference in your life, particularly in your long-term goals or in moving towards your long-term goals. Because next we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So pentacles is earth energy and in the tarot, this is energy that manifests usually in an earthly, tangible, practical, concrete way. It often represents things like money, finance, property, real estate, job, etc. Things we can see and touch and feel are tangible results of tangible efforts we put into things. So here's another new beginning or the opportunity for a new beginning or a new start. This is tangible and more practical in nature. Um, but there's also that emotional new beginning too. The Ace of Pentacles often comes up for moving, relocating, starting a new job. Sometimes it can represent receiving an unexpected sum of money that enables you to start over in a practical way or have a new beginning in a practical way. Often again, moving, relocating, new job or some kind of concrete, practical new beginning. 
that makes a difference in your day-to-day -day life. Now it's clarified and accompanied by the Two of Wands, which is about long-term thinking, long-term vision, long-term plans, because this man is trying to choose a path. He's at a crossroads, which, which way do I go? And the key to choosing the right path is understanding and having a clear vision of what your end goal is, what's your big picture, what's your long-term goal, your long-term plan, your long-term vision. Where do you want to end up at the end of the path? It's difficult, if not impossible, to plan for a trip or a journey that doesn't have a clear destination in mind. Um, because once you have a clear destination, then the path to getting there and how to how to get there becomes clearer. And so that's the key in the, in the Two of Wands is long-term thinking, long-term vision, long-term planning. So it looks like you may, some of you may have an opportunity in front of you to, to start fresh. I keep thinking starting over for some reason. Um, to have a new beginning. Uh, it is both tangible in nature and emotional in nature. It's something that it feels like you really want and something that's about your long-term vision and goals or moving towards your long-term vision and goals, but you feel trapped by something, whether it's perhaps money or a belief system or other circumstances or duty or obligation, you feel like you, you can't somehow, but you can. And there's a, a kind of a sense of, I don't, you know, particularly in this next combination of cards, like, I don't know, I, I don't think I can, I can't do it. Um, I want to, but there's this, and I'd like to, but there's this other thing. Um, and you're, and Spirit is saying, you can't, you just need to move on this. Because next we have the Four of Cups and the Chariot. So Cups is that emotional energy. This is a card, it can be a little tricky to read. I, I sometimes refer to it as the boredom and gratitude card uh, because it represents, uh, it can show a person who has what appears to be nice things or a good life uh, as represented by these upright goblets and another one being offered to him like uh, an opportunity. What he has, he looks to be well dressed. What he has appears to be good but he feels, he looks totally disinterested, not enthusiastic, not plugged into it. It's like the shine has gone off of it, the zest has gone off of it. It can be a question, it, it can sometimes represent feeling bored, listless unappreciative of what you've had. Maybe you've lost a sense of appreciation and gratitude for what you have. Um, wanting to make a change, but not maybe happy or fulfilled with where you are. Even on, on paper, it looks good, but not really motivated enough to get up and actually make a stand or start an action or start down a path. Um, It's clarified and accompanied by the chariot, which is totally opposite energy and a major arcana card. This is powerful. This is success, which comes from sheer determination, movement, action, knowing where you're going, staying focused on that goal, starting, not f stopping, not losing momentum, not allowing anything to get in your way, anything to distract you, staying focused on those goals, pulling the resources together to uh, uh, propel you towards those goals and uh, bringing things together in unison and harmony. It's a, it's a card of success that comes from, okay, I, this is where I want to go. This is my long-term vision and goal. These are the short-term goals that are going to propel me towards the achievement of that long-term goal. These are the resources I need. I'm going to gather them together. I'm going to begin and I'm not going to, I'm going to stay focused on my goal and I'm not going to stop until I get there. And you do and you achieve it. It's by sheer will and determination, being resourceful and not allowing anything to get in your way or get you down. It's success that comes from movement, action, decisiveness. It totally combats and negates this energy. At or towards the end of the month, we have two, the, a combination of two major arcana cards and they are powerful, Capricorn. The Magician, the Sun. The Magician's a very powerful card. He's a very powerful person. He's the Magician. He's walked a long road, trial and error. He's practiced a lot um, and he's reached a point in his career and his craft where he now has, because of all the experience he's had and all the lessons he's learned, he now has all the tools, the knowledge, the experience, the wisdom to build, create, manifest whatever he wants. He's very powerful. This is about taking your will, your determination, all your skills and knowledge and experience and manifesting them in an external way to visibly create and manifest whatever it is that you want. Powerful. He knows he can do it. He doesn't even question it. Um, it's an independent energy. If, if the magician has a challenge, 
Um, it's sometimes in working with other people or working for other people because he walks his own path. He marches to the tune of his own drum. He has his own way of doing things. It's what works for him. It's what always worked for him. And he thinks that's the best way of doing things. Sometimes he has a hard time working with other people because of that energy. Um, it's a very independent energy. He is, uh, in, in, in some senses, uh, the entrepreneur of the tarot. It's a very entrepreneurial energy. It can be a card of going your own way, uh, building your own, creating your own path, walking your own path, starting your own business, starting your own something, uh, knowing that you can do it, being very confident and positive about that because you know you have all this, the skills and tools and knowledge and resources to do it. You don't really need much, if any, help from anybody else. Now, it's accompanied and clarified by the sun. One of the best tarot cards in the deck, one of the most powerful ones because of its ability to influence the other cards in a spread. When the sun comes out, it shines over everything. It illuminates and clarifies everything. What does the sun bring? Light, love, warmth, laughter. It encourages things to grow and illuminates all the corners. It brings knowledge, information, solutions, maybe where there previously wasn't any. It loosens up and sometimes negates restrictive energy. Finances get a little easier. You can breathe better. Uh, it can be social, fun, travel, vacation. There's always an uplifting and loosening up of energy when the sun comes out. I, I, it can't be any more clear, Capricorn. So just to recap really quick, looks like you end February, start March, feeling stuck, trapped, powerless. You want new beginnings. Perhaps there's even an opportunity in front of you, but you somehow feel held back. You feel like you can't. Or maybe you're just feeling a little lazy. Or maybe unmotivated. But the chariot is kind of like, I, I, I often envision like the... The, the the steam engines, the old trains, you know, where the wheels, when they first start to move, they're moving so slowly, building up steam, building up steam faster and faster. But once they find that momentum, you get out of the way. You can't stop them. They're going to go until they reach their destination. That's what I think of when the chariot. The hardest part is the beginning, getting up, getting started. But once you do, that's your path to success. And whatever doubts, insecurities, anxieties, fears you have, acknowledge them and then throw them out the window because you can. You have everything that you need to create and build and manifest whatever that it is that you want to start this new thing. If, you, if you're if you wanting to start, particularly those of you who are wanting to start a new project, a new business, anything of that sort, you have what you need. You totally do. I, I, it cannot be more clear than this. Really powerful. And if you start, if you get up and if you start you know, even if you're afraid, walk into it, through it. That's the way to banish fears, is to move through them, to face them, move through them. Then they're behind you, not in front of you. And if you do that, spirit will meet and match you every step of the way, and you will also receive some happy surprises and unexpected blessings during the month of March if you can just get up and start moving. Spirit will meet and match and exceed that because your overall energy is the Four of Wands. This can be a celebratory card. It can actually point to a celebratory event. You know, a formal thing like a wedding, a marriage, an anniversary party, a retirement party, graduation, birthday, you know, something which has a theme, something formal. Or it can re represent casual get-togethers with friends and family too, like just dinner or barbecues or a little birthday party or drinks or dancing or something like that. It reminds us to reconnect with the simple joys and gratitudes of what and who we have in our life. Sometimes it can represent an actual event that we're planning or planning on going to and we get so caught up in the details and stress of how to do it that we forget what the actual event or celebration is about. It's about coming together, being grateful for the people we have in our life and remembering that joy and that gratitude and appreciation and reconnecting with this back with the simple joys of what's truly important in the hustle and bustle of the world we live in today. So keep that in mind too. There's a lot to be grateful for here. But it's also called the Happy Surprise Unexpected Blessing card. And it's not an indeterminate time either. When the Four of Wands shows up, whatever this happy surprise or unexpected blessing is, is coming quickly. For most of you, if not all of you, in the month of March. And it might be attached to an event of some kind. So typically when the Four of Wands, and it will surprise you, even though now you know it's coming, it's still going to take you off guard and make you really happy. And when that card shows up, I usually tell clients, for the time period that the reading covers, don't turn down 
any invitations to go out or do something or any opportunities or chances to go out and do something even if you're like oh that doesn't sound like my thing I don't think I'd have a very good time or that might be boring it doesn't matter go anyway you never know what might happen you could make the best business contact of your career you might meet the love of your life I mean you just never know so keep that in mind Capricorn so Capricorn that pretty much sums up your March 2018 general reading I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great reading, Capricorn. Get up, start moving. <laughs> you can. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it useful and helpful. Again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on that About button for more information and my contact details, uh, which you will also find attached to the description of all the videos that I post. Uh, if you're looking to connect with me more quickly for just a fast, uh, you know, fast answers to a quick question or two, or you got a decision you need to make quickly, uh, you can find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Iris Gypsy, uh, and that link is also with the rest of my contact details. So, I will see you all in a couple of weeks, Capricorn, for the March 2018 mid-month readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care, and I hope to see you back here again very soon. Bye bye.